Gran, you okay? Mm. Oh, mm. hello, Paul. I missed you at the party. I oh. just popped over to get this. I, I thought Anna should have it. <laughs> it's your favourite brooch. You'll love it. I feel so sorry for her. All that nonsense with Julie and Lucy is bad enough, but now Max is putting his oar in. Yeah, poor old Dad. You must wonder what's hit him. I could throttle Julie over this. She's behaving like a kid of ten. But what's really behind it, Gran? Well, over the years, she's managed to make this place her very own. Everything from Julie's point of view was perfect. The last thing on this earth she imagined was that her father would even try to bring another woman into this house. So she's cooked up dozens of reasons why it's all so wrong. <laughs> she refuses to believe that it's the best thing that could possibly have happened to him. Does it worry you, another woman replacing Mum? No. Your mother would have hated him to spend the rest of his life being lonely, and so would I. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Anna, I, I wanted to give you this. It's a personal gift from me to you. Oh, thank you, Helen. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Maria, look at this. You can't give her that. That was my mother's. It belonged to my mother, Julie. I'll give it to anyone I please. I'm taking everything away from this family. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> Jim, please don't go. I never hit you in your life, but I came so close to it back there. I want you to go back and apologize to everyone. No, I can't do that, Dad. I see. Well, let me tell you this. I am going to marry Anna. And unless you can see your way clear to apologize to her and stop behaving like a child, I want you to move out of this house. And the sooner the better. <laughs> 